With New Year and the first episode of the year 2024, there seems to be a new arrival in Genoa City. Brian Gaskill is joining Young and the Restless either as a savior for Nikki, or something bad. So, stick around to know all about him in the video. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. It's no secret that Nikki is back on her drinking track, and all the credit for that goes to Jordan, who literally tortured and forced her to drink when she was kidnapped. Finally, in last week's episode, there was a dramatic face-off between Nikki and Jordan, involving a physical fight while trying to save Claire's life. That scene had a lot of people second-guessing her state because she was supposed to be drunk as she was drinking vodka. Fans on social media speculated that Nikki might be pretending to be drunk to manipulate Jordan, commenting on her drunk acting. Some tweets suggested skepticism, with fans stating, Nikki is faking it, and Nikki's not drunk, she's playing Jordan. Regardless of whether Nikki was intoxicated or not, fans couldn't stop discussing it, making Nikki a trending topic on Twitter under the unexpected category of politics. Fans found it amusing, with one tweeting, Nikki is trending under politics, scroll through the posts and see it's our girl. But all's well that ends well, and Jordan's chapter is finally closed, at least for now. At the end of the episode, Jordan was caught by the police, thanks to Claire stepping up and protecting Nikki. It seems like Nikki can finally focus on getting herself back on track, you know, the life of sobriety. And that's when our new character makes an entrance. Brian Gaskill is joining the cast of Young and the Restless as the newly created character, Seth. Gaskill's character is set to make his debut in the new year, playing a man Nikki encounters at an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. The hope is that Seth will positively influence Nikki and help her in overcoming the challenges brought on by Jordan, who has led her back into drinking. But let's not forget, Nikki's in a soap world, and you never know if someone is an angel in disguise, or another devil in town. Fingers crossed, we really think Seth will be someone who can guide Nikki back to her sober life. And now, for those of you who can't quite guess where you have seen Gaskill, let us tell you, he is no stranger to daytime television. Gaskill first entered the scene with his television debut in the primetime Soap Models Inc. in 1994, a spin-off of Melrose Place. Following that, he took on a role in the daytime soap All My Children as Bobby Warner, a character he portrayed until 1997. His soap journey continued with the role of Rafe Kovic in the General Hospital spin-off Port Charles from 2001 to the show's end in 2003. Then, he went on to CBS to play Oscar Marone on The Bold and the Beautiful from 2003 to 2004. In the fall of 2005, he briefly portrayed the villainous BJ Green on As the World Turns. As you can see, Gaskill is a total show hopper, and he didn't stop there. Gaskill went on to take the role of Dylan Lewis on Guiding Light from 2007 to 2008, and he also had a recurring part as Chase Walker on the show The Bay from 2012 to 2015. Now, talking about his latest appearance, it was as Paul Bachelor in the 2022 film A Bachelor's Valentine. Since making his last appearance on a soap opera back in 2008, he is finally back after 15 years, that too in Young and the Restless for the first time. So, let's give Brian a warm welcome on the show, with love and support. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and share if you recall seeing Brian in other soaps too. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.